Her name is big, so is her voice, not just in Portland, but she's known all over the world as she tours with her band and Portland-based Pink Martini. And some people might remember her from her appearance on the show Rock Star Supernova in 2006. She is Storm Large, our guest anchor sitting in tonight. Welcome, Storm. Thank Great you. to have you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for taking such a huge, enormous risk <laughs> oh, with well, my giant I up. have to say uh, that <laughs> we're family friendly, so any swearing, I'm going to zap you. I so. know, I know. They fitted me with a, with a little shock collar, so I'm, 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 I've been trained to behave. So. so you're a singer, a songwriter, actor, author. Have you ever anchored the news before? No, this is my very first time. Well, so this is going to be fun. Are you ready yes. for this? Yes. Okay. You're I'm going to tell us about the sea otter, right? Thank you. And uh, oh, this my is the teleprompter operator, really, so I'll operate this <laughs> for you. <laughs> okay. It also zaps you. Okay. Yes, it, it, yes. it's multitasking. Um, so you've heard a lot about the wildfire smoke's impact on people, uh, but zookeepers are also monitoring the animals closely. One animal in Seattle is trained especially for days like this. Mishka, the sea otter, was diagnosed with asthma several years ago. It was triggered by wildfire smoke. So zoo staff taught her to do something pretty remarkable. They trained her to use her own inhaler. Mishka, inhaler. Breathe. Anything in their exhibit is, they're very curious. They're gonna, they're gonna take it and play with it. So we had to really teach her that this isn't a toy. This is, this is training time, it's school time now. Zoo staff also taught Mishka to jump up onto an x-ray machine so they can get a look at her lungs and make sure she's doing okay. They say the recent smoke hasn't been too bad for her. She's her normal feisty self. So are you your normal feisty self in all this wildfire smoke? This news makes me so sad. <laughs> About the otters having to use the inhaler. And are we, well, we've taught the otter how to use medicine to deal with the new environment and we're teaching the elephant to use, um, you know, um, his own EpiPen when he gets stung by bees and... Uh, the new world. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we it's have one more normal. story for you. Okay, great. Uh, and this one is about the eclipse. Where were this you is for great. the eclipse? Oh, as Matt Zafino will happily gloat and tell you, I was in Scotland I for the eclipse. I was not about that. I was like, how can you do that? I, I know, he, he did, he did yeah. give me a, a, load, a load about it. So anyway, the solar eclipse was one year ago today. And on the anniversary, Portland State University released a new view of the event. This video shows the eclipse shadow as it moves across Oregon. It's made by stitching together over a thousand photos taken by weather balloons that PSU engineering students released. The balloons reached 100,000 feet above the Earth's surface. They did it as part of a partnership with NASA. So it's like you were here now. Do you feel like you've seen the eclipse now? No! <laughs> no, Matt's here it now. was so sad. It was. I know, I, I, was getting, I was getting texts from my normally very jaded rock and roll band and they are just like, ooh, the eclipse. There's so many hippies out here. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, because I was in Scotland, I'm like, what does it look like? What's happening? What's happening? And then all of a sudden, all of them at the same time, they're like, oh my God, it's cold. It's dark. It's so amazing. And I was like, oh, I'm it missing was. it. And yeah. you were in Scotland. Awesome. It was truly, everyone who who was here and who got to see it all expressed how magical it was. So how was Scotland? Cold. Yeah. It was great. Cold, it was rainy, great. And dark and it was not, great. Not it was eclipse. awesome. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Uh, I got to ask you, though, about how you came to Portland because you're from New England, like Matt mm -hmm. is. What brought you to Portland? I didn't know that. Um, yeah. We're um, New Englanders. Massachusetts. Oh, Massachusetts, exit 12 off the Mass Pike. All right. Okay. <laughs> so how'd you end up here? I was a touring musician in California, and every time I stopped off in, uh, in Portland, I just felt I could breathe here. That was a long Except time ago. Except for today. Except for today. Right. <laughs> That's changed. Well, is, um, it, is Storm But, but Matt's name? teaching me how to use an okay. asthma okay. thing. Well, yeah. Right, um, just, like just like Mishka, Mishka. Right. at the zoo. Right. So I got everybody... a question for you. What's your favorite, tell me one of your favorite venues to perform in. Oh, that's hard. Um, really? The many different reasons. Um, I love beautiful grand places, um, but I love Dante's because that was Cause, one of the... Because it's Dante's. Because it's Dante's, but I love the Hollywood Bowl because um, it's just kind of one. this epic, yeah. beautiful place. Okay, everyone wants to know, they wanted me to ask you, is Storm Large your real name? It is my real name. So you were born Susan Storm? Born Susan Storm Large. Large. My mother's name was Susan, so nobody ever called me Susan. It was just Storm or Little S. 
Okay, no, well, they call me that. I'm a little jealous yeah. of your name, by the way. For well, there was, yeah. there was a yeah. weather guy in, I think, New York. In New York, Storm, Storm Field. Fields. Yeah, I grew uh -huh. up watching him, actually. That's okay, right. so this is the yeah. perfect opportunity for you as the anchor with the name yes, Storm. Of course. To transition to Matt and toss to Matt. What do you want so, to ask So, Matt, yes, um, Storm. Pink Martini is performing in Seattle tomorrow and Thursday, and then Ooh. we're performing we're performing at the zoo, so I get to actually see Mishka breathing. Breathing. Attempting to breathe. Right. Surviving, Normally by coughing, then. making little cough bubbles underwater, but how's the air going to be in Seattle? They may need tomorrow. to teach Mishka how to hold an umbrella by Sunday. Oh my how goodness. About that? Really? Yeah, a little bit trick. of rain. I think we'll be fine for the show. Okay. And I'm glad that you guys weren't performing in Seattle today because yeah. I'm, as, as I'm about to show you, some of the worst air quality in the world but tomorrow and especially Thursday and Friday a lot better. Okay. So there. And the zoo will be at the Portland Zoo Saturday and right, right. Sunday here. So there's yeah. going to rain here. And that'll be good. That, I think it'll be okay. The rain we get Sunday will probably be after you. Oh, I done. want it to rain. <laughs> Dump. I you don't want it to rain in the performance, but. No, be I'll be fine. I see the audience will get wet, but they'll love it. They'll love it. <laughs> Mud wrestling at the zoo. Exactly. It's great. There's nothing better than that mm -hmm. for man or beast. All right. I want to show you this. Well done, by the way, Storm. Thanks for coming job. in. Thank you did a great job. Oh, thank you really, so really much. Fun. And I didn't have to get zapped. You didn't. And you didn't. I didn't heckle you. No. And you, you haven't heckled me, at least not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Don't mess up. The night is young. <laughs> there goes the sun behind.